Let's say I've got a sequence. Starts at one, then let's say it goes to negative one half, then it goes to positive one third, then it goes to negative one fourth, then it goes to positive one fifth, and it just keeps going on and on and on like this. And we could graph it. Let me draw our vertical axis. So I'll draft this as our y axis, and I'm going to graph y is equal to a sub n. And let's make this our. This is our horizontal axis where I'm going to plot our ends. So this right over here is our ends, and this is let's say this is right over here is positive one. This right over here is negative one. This would be negative one half. This would be positive one half. And I'm not drawing it. I'm not drawing the vertical and horizontal axes at the same scale, just so that we can kind of visualize this properly. But let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, and I could keep going on and on and on. So we see here that when n is equal to one, a sub n is equal to one. So this is right over there. So when n is equal to one, a sub n is equal to one. So this is y is equal to a sub n. Now, when n is equal to when n is equal to two, we have a sub n is equal to negative one half. When n is equal to two, a sub n is equal to negative is equal to negative one half. When n is equal to three. A sub n is equal to one third. It's equal to one third, which is right about, right about there. When n is equal to four, a sub n is equal to negative one fourth, which is right about, right about there. And then when n is equal to five, a sub n is equal to positive one fifth, which is maybe right over there, and we keep going on and on and on. So you see the points, they kind of jump around, but they seem to be getting closer and closer and closer to zero, which, asks, which would make us ask a very natural question. What happens to a sub n as n approaches infinity? Or another way of saying that is, what is the limit? Let me do this in a new color. What is the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity? Well, let's think about if we can if we can define a sub n explicitly. Explicitly, if we can define the sequence explicitly, so we can define the sequence as a sub n, where n starts at one and goes to infinity, with with a sub n equaling what is it equal? Well, if we ignore a sign for a second, it looks like it's just one over n. But then it's we seem like we oscillate in signs. We start with a positive, then a negative, positive, negative. So we could multiply this times negative one to the let's see, if we multiply it times negative one to the n, then this one would be negative and this one would be positive, but we don't want it that way. We want the first term to be positive. So we could say negative one to the n plus one power. And you can verify this works. When n is equal to one, you have one times negative one squared, which is just one, and they'll work for all the rest. So we could write this as equaling negative one to the n plus one power over n. And so asking what the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity is, is equivalent to asking what is the limit of negative one to the n plus one power over n as n approaches infinity is going to be equal to. Remember, a sub n, this is just a function of n. It's a function where we're limited right over here to positive integers as our domain. But this is still just a limit as something approaches infinity. And I haven't rigorously defined it yet, but you can, think, you can conceptualize what's going on here. As n approaches infinity, the numerator is going to oscillate between positive and negative 1. But this denominator is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're going to get really, 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 really small numbers. And so this thing right over here is going to, is going to approach zero. Now, I have not proved this to you yet. I am just claiming that this is true. But th if this is true, if this true, so let me write this down. If true, if true, if the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity is zero, then we say, then we can say that a sub n converges, converges to zero. That's another way of saying this right over here. If it didn't, if it just if if the limit as n approaches infinity didn't go to some value right here, and I haven't rigorously defined how we define a limit, but if this was not true, if we could not set some limit, well, it doesn't have to be equal to zero. As long as if this was not equal to some number, then we would say that a sub n diverges.